Lake at this point, but Lisa says it's going down to freezing tonight, so more accumulation on the way. Yes, and that is especially going to take place overnight through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I think that's when we're going to have a better opportunity see more of that accumulation taking place for those in the lowlands. So satellite Doppler view, specifically just seeing some rain right now for most of us when it comes to the lowlands, but not ruling out that wintry mix to pop up at times. Zooming in, seeing specifically just rain over in Burien, stretching through Seattle, Vashon Island, Port Orchard, just outside of SeaTac, but highlighted here in the purple, this is that winter weather advisory we've been talking about all night long. So this starts at 10 o'clock tonight, continues through 10 p.m. Tuesday evening. This is where we're talking about the potential of a trace to up to three inches of accumulation. Now, most of the area will see around one to two inches of snow accumulating through tomorrow and that afternoon. Most of this happening through tomorrow morning passes, expecting six to eight inches of accumulation, and in our mountain valleys, around two to six. So, again, that's significant, and this is going to be happening later on tonight. So, through tomorrow evening, but like I said, I do think a lot of this is going to happen tomorrow morning as the temperatures remain right around freezing, expecting around one to two inches, Mount Vernon, Bellingham, and a quarter us over into Mount Baker, Concrete, and Darrington. Even though you might see a zero popping up in your area, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to see anything. Could see some flakes, just nothing significant when it comes to accumulation, maybe even a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. We're also seeing around one to two inches from Issaquah to North Bend, Gold Bar, possibly three inches for you. And this particular model is our in-house model IBM from Tacoma to uh, Rochester. Could see that trace to two inches. Higher snow totals happening across portions like the higher elevations, like the Olympics, and even over in a forks could see more of that popping up. So as we time this out, 10 o'clock tonight, Similar to what we're seeing right now, maybe some spotty showers, maybe a little bit of that snow popping up. But what this system is, it's a low pressure system working its way up towards the northeast. With it, we are going to see these rain bands and even snow bands developing. With it, this is where we're going to see most of that accumulation, counterclockwise rotation. So that's going to happen early tomorrow morning, continuing to lift up towards the northeast. With it, we're going to see more of that snow tapering off throughout the day, not ruling out some sunshine. But most of that in the afternoon will fizzle up as temperatures peak in the lower 40s. However, that snow level could drop down to the surface. So get ready for those temperatures. Temperatures to adjust at times depending on that precipitation. So another day for us tomorrow evening we clear out, which means those temperatures are going to plunge as we head into Wednesday morning back in the 20s. In the meantime, we are sitting in those mid and upper 30s for a lot of us like Bellingham over in Whidbey Island, 42 degrees through Tacoma. And as we take a look at tomorrow morning when we're waking up, temperatures will be right around freezing from Everett, Seattle down through Tacoma, 32 in Olympia and Shelton, waking up to more of that wintry mix, more of that snow popping up in the forecast. And I'll leave you with a look at your seven days. So weather alert day in place because temperatures will be freezing. It will be breezy when we wake up early in the morning, which could kill some of that snow but again we'll still have some of that light accumulation developing definitely seeing that happening across grassy surfaces those bushes and then we're going to get ready for our next system frontal system pushes through late wednesday into thursday specifically just rain with that particular system